The Jackson Fire Department says this is the worst time something like this could happen with the summer heat hitting some of its highest temperatures. They have been drenching this fire for days. We do have this incident under control. We are still working to fully extinguish it. The Jackson Fire Department is on day three of trying to knock out this massive tire fire on McDowell Road. JFD saying the nonstop hours of labor and heat have been tough on the firemen. It's been excruciating on them, and, and so we've been having to swap them out every four hours, uh, running different crews, different shifts. Um. And fire departments across the metro assisting Jackson firefighters, including the Brandon Fire Department. They loaded up and went to Jackson and took care of those guys and their whole rehab. And they provided a conditioner to get into, water, food, everything they needed, blankets, whatever they, whatever they, they needed. The plume of dark smoke and the fire glow could be seen across the metro, leaving residents confused as to how something like this could happen. Why would thousands of tires be allowed to just sit in a place when it's obviously a fire hazard and a health hazard, environmental hazard? JFD Deputy Fire Chief Cleotha Sanders says they will be working around the clock to clear the scene and investigate how the fire started. The, um, uh, contractors, they will be using heavy equipment to move the piles and our firefighters will assist by extinguishing those fires as they continue to move the piles. The Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality is reassuring the public they have nothing to worry about at the moment. Obviously, just with any fire, you don't want to get right up in it. But from what the data told us in the community, there's no reason to shelter in place or evacuate. They say the fire could take up to two weeks to be burned out. Reporting from Jackson, Brooklyn Joyner, 16 WAPT News.